good evening and welcome to the second segment of the 2020 honors presentation recognizing uh, excellence and accomplishment among Hanover students. This segment will focus upon uh, 16 students from the Division of Natural Sciences. That division consists of the departments of biology, biochemistry, chemistry, computer science, geology, kinesiology, and integrated physiology, mathematics, physics and astronomy, and psychology. The Enos Prey Biology Award, given to the outstanding senior biology major, goes this year to Ciara Mergler. Ciara, from Troy, Ohio, has never been afraid to step outside her comfort zone. She's taken courses with every faculty member of the biology department, has been active in Tri Beta and Women in Science, and her three years of researching insect diversity and animal behavior has led to multiple presentations and publications. She and her good-natured sarcasm will be dearly missed by the biology faculty. The distinguished award in biochemistry goes to Zoe Burrow. Zoe from Greenfield, Indiana, will graduate with a major in biochemistry and minors in both Spanish and creative writing. In addition to her academic accomplishments, Zoe has made exceptional contributions to the campus community as a tutor and study group leader for the Gladish Learning Center. In the fall, she will be entering medical school at the Indiana University School of Medicine. There, she hopes to pursue the Rural Health Scholarly Concentration as preparation for a career assisting the medical needs of underserved populations. The Ned Guthrie Chemistry Award is given to the chemistry major who has made the most significant contribution to the college in the current academic year. This year's award goes to Caroline Millard. Caroline from Cincinnati, Ohio, will graduate with a major in chemistry. She wears her passion for science on her sleeve and the chemistry department has been the better for it. She's been a model student in the classroom, a supportive tutor in the learning center, and a dedicated researcher in the lab. She takes her talents to Boston next year to join the Northeastern University's PhD program in chemistry. The Keith and Gwen White Award for Graduate Study in Chemistry is given to an outstanding student of chemistry intending to pursue graduate study in the field or planning to enter medical school. This year's award goes to Allison Reardon. Allison from Amelia, Ohio, will graduate with a major in chemistry and a minor in archeology span in the classics department. She has been a peer mentor for introductory chemistry for three years, and her summer research fellowship led to two presentations at the National Meeting of the American Chemical Society. A subsequent research experience for undergraduate students conducted at the University of Akron yielded another national ACS presentation. Her hard work, talent, and passion for chemistry now lead her to the Vanderbilt University doctoral program in analytical chemistry. The Distinguished Award in Computer Science goes to two recipients this year. The first is Paxton Caldwell. The second is Ethan Monin. In addition to majoring in computer science, Paxton will be graduating with a minor in design, 
a Connorsville resident. Paxton is a member of Lambda Chi Alpha fraternity for whom he has served as both treasurer and president. He's also a sprinter for the men's track and field team and a recipient of the Heartland Collegiate Athletic Conference's Tom Bolson All Academic Award. Ethan of Minster, Ohio, will graduate with a computer science major and math minor. Like Paxton, he is also a member of Lambda Chi Alpha Fraternity and a student athlete honored with the Bolson All Academic Recognition. After graduation, Ethan will be working as an application developer for Precision Strip, one of the nation's largest metal processing companies. The Distinguished Award in Engineering goes to two students. The first is Taylor Blyston. The second is Christian Reed. A native of Wesley Chapel, Florida, Taylor has maintained one of the highest GPAs among the initial cohort of engineering students. He's done so while competing as a starter and all-conference wide receiver for the football team. As an engineering student, he participated in the Solar District Challenge, an intercollegiate competition hosted by the National Renewable Energy Laboratory. His team was chosen as a finalist for the competition, one of only two college teams across the nation to achieve that distinction. Christian Reed of Sellersburg, Indiana, has also been a scholar athlete at Hanover, playing basketball until an injury last season gave him newfound time in his senior year to take leadership roles in the engineering program. He has served as the president of the Reconstituted Engineering Club. He has led the Solar District Challenge Team. Christian held an engineering internship this past summer with Kiewit Engineering Group in Kansas City, with whom he has since accepted employment as a field engineer. The Distinguished Award in Geology also goes to two students. Kenna Hunter of Mooresville, Indiana, and Steve Loria of Noblesville, Indiana. Kenna will graduate with a major in geology and a minor in environmental science. She earned the second highest score on this year's geology comprehensive evaluation. She is also a co-author of an abstract recently accepted for publication in the proceedings of the combined Northeastern and Southeastern sections of the Geological Society of America. Steve Loria will graduate with a major in geology and a minor in environmental science also. He earned the top score on the geology comprehensive examination. He also did outstanding lab work in mineralogy and it is hoped that at least one of his petrographic thin sections will be illustrated in a journal article on Mississippian age fossils from Newfoundland, Canada. The Distinguished Award in Kinesiology and Integrative Physiology goes to two recipients, Brandy Brock and Cami Jones. Brandy of Cincinnati has been an outstanding KIPP student as well as an outstanding player on the women's soccer team. She's earned all-conference honors for three years and all-conference academic team honors for four years. This May, she will enter the Physician Assistance Program at Butler University. Cammie Jones of Richmond, Indiana, has as well distinguished herself as a KIPP student and a student athlete. 
earning all conference honors on the women's tennis team for four years. Recognition as the all-conference most valuable player for two years and academic all-conference every year. She was the highest performer on this year's comprehensive evaluation, receiving the highest grade ever on a KIPP comprehensive. She will be attending the Indiana University School of Medicine this fall. The John E. Yarnell Mathematics Prize is given to the outstanding mathematics major. This year's award goes to Aaron Stocksdale. Aaron from Taylorsville, Kentucky, will pursue an MBA after his graduation from Hanover. His long-range plans are to pursue a career in operations planning. The Morse Mathematical Award is given to the student attaining the highest scholastic standing in mathematics. This year's award goes to Cambria Jones of Fullerton, California. Cambria is double majoring in math and Spanish and completing her certification in secondary education. Having received the Yarnell Mathematics Prize in 2019, Cambria will begin her teaching career with a handsome set of bookend math department awards. The George A. and Sarah O. Zirkel Award in Psychology is given to the outstanding senior student of psychology as determined by the department. This year's award goes to Megan Lanter. Megan from Cincinnati, Ohio, assumed a significant number of commitments and with the help of a reportedly impressive array of colored pens and pencils, accomplished all of them. She will graduate as a double major in history and psychology with a minor in Spanish and she will be remembered for work with the Hanover Historical Review and as a student assistant to two academic departments. The Distinguished Award in Psychology goes to Lauren Lester. Lauren from Liberty, Indiana, will graduate with a double major in psychology and elementary education. Lauren completed her senior thesis for psychology while student teaching for a semester. Not just student teaching, but taking over a classroom for a teacher who was on parental leave. That thesis was an ambitious project conducting research in the public schools, an undertaking requiring her to navigate state and federal laws, school administrators, Hanover's internal review board for research on human subjects, and those human subjects themselves, Wrigley Elementary School students. Thank you for your time this evening. I hope you enjoyed the hearing the remarkable record of achievements of Hanover students. Or if you are in the presence of one of today's honorees, the Honorable Eric Holcomb, Governor of Indiana, and himself a Hanover graduate, class of 1990, considers you to be a temporarily essential companion and authorizes you to bestow an appropriate handshake or hug to your most favorite honored student. Thank you.